In this and the next modules of the video tutorial, we will create destination sets and routes for each destination set. A destination set represents the route list or rate deck that your vendor offers you. Let's begin by creating a new destination set for terminating calls to the US, provided by Greentel vendor. Navigate to the destination sets menu in the routing section. Click the add new button. Provide a descriptive name for the new destination set to enhance clarity, for instance Greentel US. Specify the number of free seconds applicable to all routes within this destination set. These free seconds fall between your first interval, interval 1, and your first interval N. Select the currency for your rate table and set the percentage for post-call surcharging, should it be necessary for your scenario. Post-call surcharge can encompass taxes, inflated pricing, or an IVR manipulation method for the calling card business. Define the fee for terminating each call within this destination set and set the grace period. As you recall from the call pricing tutorial, if a call is interrupted within this period, no fee is charged. Save your changes and return to the previous page. You can replicate this procedure to create additional destination sets as needed. For this training video's purpose, we will establish a couple more destination sets. Let's add one more destination set for Greentel, assuming it's designated for calling landlines in Canada, thus, we can name it Green Canada. For training purposes, retain the default parameters for this destination. Save and close this destination set to return to the destination sets page. Now, let's create a destination set for the routes purchased from Redtel, specifically for calling SIPI test numbers. Adhering to our naming convention, name this destination set Redtel SIPI. Maintain the default parameters for this destination set, save your work, and return to the previous page. We have now established two destination sets for Greentel vendor and one for Redtel vendor. The next step is to add routes to each destination set which is explained in the next video tutorial.